Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just released the RC version of the new iOS 18.3, meaning that we will get this update released to the public or very, very soon. But we're going to talk about the public release date in a couple of minutes here. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at this update and everything you need to know regarding iOS 18.3. Now, as you probably know, Apple has released three betas of iOS 18.3 in the last Last one had a build number ending with a B indicating that there might be another beta but they didn't do it they released the RC version which means that this is the last release before the public release and you can see right here the size of the update is at around 7 gigs that will be of course different based on different devices but when you're update to the RC version it means that you're actually reinstalling iOS that's why it's a big update now the build number for iOS 18.3 RC which most likely will be the build number also for the public release is 22d60 this is the new build number now if you're running any of the betas of ios 18.3 you can update right now to the rc version which will be of course the exact same as the public release so there is no need for you to actually wait for the public release but if you just want to do it if you just feel better like installing the public release and not the rc version then what you have to do right now before tapping the install button on the rc just go to the beta updates right here and just completely turn them off and then you won't install the rc version but you will get the public release right here now if you have installed the rc version or you're planning to install it just know that you won't be getting the public release of ios 18.3 because you already have it with the rc version now as you might know the ios 18.3 is not a big update it has a few different features that we want to mention here not anything really really big first of all on the imessage app if you have a device with apple intelligence you won't need to go to the emoji section in order to create a new emoji using the genmoji feature now you will find it right here tap the plus button and they will have genmoji now of course you can go to it from here and you can even rearrange it and place it on anywhere you want this is new as well on safari when you take a screenshot with your ios 18.3 device and you save it as a pdf if you crop it you will actually get this pop-up which basically lets you know that the content on the cropped area won't be visible in most pdf viewers but it still can be visible in certain apps so that crop part still might appear on like certain apps that you maybe send or use this screenshot for on the calculator app when you calculate something now you can actually tap the equals button again to recalculate or basically do it over and over again now this was a feature that used to previously be part of ios but apple had actually removed it with the new calculator app on iOS 18 and now it is back with iOS 18.3. Now some of the biggest changes on iOS 18.3 will be on the notification section especially on summarized notifications right here if you have summarized notifications on your device you know this is a part of the Apple intelligence features first of all when you enable it right here you will get the screen where you can go ahead and choose the notifications you want to summarize you tap right here and you will have right here the notifications which you can summarize and you can see we have some right there that are temporary disabled so if we enable them like this it basically first of all lets you know that some of them are disabled actually apple has done this intentionally they have disabled summarized notifications for a lot of apps but right here will have the list of apps that do support summarized notifications but some of them actually right here show that they are temporary unavailable you can see right here we have shazam in this case i can enable or disable this but it still won't actually work and you won't be getting summarized notifications from those apps they have been temporarily disabled you know that all the features with apple intelligence all of them are still on beta so they have more work to do here so we will probably have to wait for another update for all the different notifications to be re-enabled there will be also another change that you will notice on your notification center now with the summarized notifications so you see these notifications right here they are normal notifications and they have the regular text but if you get summarized notifications then they will have the italic text so that's the new basically font that apple is placing in order to make a difference between the normal notifications and the summarized notifications that you get on your device and there will be also a small 
color change here for the iPhone 16 Pro. So with the camera control features on the settings app, you will have here new change. So you have here, you can see clean preview and then you will have AE and AF lock. So right now, this is the change that has happened on iOS 18.3. So they are separate here. So the clean preview also has a description right there underneath. And that has changed to lock focus and exposure. So it's basically the same setting, the same function. It just has now new wording. Now, when it comes to performance, iOS 18.3 actually has been quite good. We had a few like glitches and bugs here and there, but you, as you can see right here, the performance with this test looks to be quite good. So we have a great score here that we got with the Geekbench 6 app. So the single core score is a 2,969, while we have an amazing multi-core score at 7,451. This is actually the best score that I got on iOS 18.3, and this was just a, a day ago with iOS 18.3 Beta 3. Of course, we will have to wait another couple of days in order to do another test with the RC version, hopefully it will be even higher than this one. Now when talking about an update, of course, we have to talk about the battery life. Now I had iOS 18.3 since beta one on my device, and this is the battery life that I'm getting on my device right here. So you can see just today here with about maybe 65% battery, we got six hours, 17 minutes. Last day here with 90% battery, seven hours, 42 minutes. And then we have here 130% battery, nine hours, 35 minutes. Here about 120% battery, eight hours, 41 minutes. It's okay, but of course it's not the best battery life in my opinion. What I can remember, the battery life was, was a bit better with iOS 18.2 on my device here. But of course, again, we have to keep in mind that the battery health of this device is at around 91%. So it's not the best ever, but it's not that bad at all. So when can we expect the public release of iOS 18.3? Well, with the RC version released, you know that we don't have anything else left here that will be just the public release. We might get a second RC. It has happened a few times, but if that happens, it will most likely be like a couple of days from, from now. But I believe the 27th of January will be the date that Apple releases iOS 18.3 to the public. So. If you want to install it, you should be able to install it actually on the 27th. Now, what's next? Of course, there will be the first beta of iOS 18.4. And I believe that if Apple releases iOS 18.3 on the 27th, the 18.4 beta one most likely will be released on the 28th of January. I don't think they will have to wait a longer for that because it will have to go through a few beta stages because it has quite a lot of big new features that we're expecting to get with that update so that's basically it for this video guys this is ios 18.3 and this is basically it. this is what we're getting a pretty nice update a few new features nothing major but it's okay so that's it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one